DG Lonyo gets flak for wrong incoherent take on coronavirus testing. In Manila, Philippines, Filipino dancer and influencer DG Lonyo was criticized online for his misinformed and incoherent statements on coronavirus mask and rapid testing in the country. In a live stream hosted by hip hop artist Kenjan Serrano, Mr. Mainit, with dancer Ivo Manila on Tuesday night, June 2, Kenjan asked DG Lonyo his take on mask testing in the Philippines. Lonyo has quieted the following in social media. He has over 1.27 million YouTube subscribers and over 622,000 Twitter followers. Kenjan's Facebook page, where the stream hosted, has over 20,000 followers. During a segment called Hashtag Swagad na Usapan, ano ba talaga nangyayari sa mundo natin? Serrano told Lunyo that he was returning to his choreography studio the next day which required mass testing among staff. Oh my God! Lunyo immediately responded. Shaking his head, Serrano asked Lunyo what he thought about it. Lunyo said, I just don't know. It's like, gagana ba itong bagay na ito sa ganitong ano? Diba? I don't know ano gagamitin nila sa mass testing. But kung ano ipapainom nila? Ano ipapainom nila? Ano ipapainom nila? Kung ano ipapagawa nila? It's a trial and error. Kaya it's a mass testing. I just don't know. It's like, will this thing work with this thing? Right? I don't know what they're going to use in the mass testing. What they're going to make me drink. What they're going to make me do. It's a trial and error. That's why it's mass testing. Testing for COVID-19 does not require ingestion. Medical professionals insert long cotton swabs inside the cavity between mouth and nose to collect enough cells to be sent out the certified coronavirus testing facilities. Mass testing doesn't mean everyone gets tested and shouldn't be simply a trial and error process. It means officials should test persons suspected of having novel coronavirus. Those who were in close contact with confirmed or probable coronavirus cases, frontline healthcare workers, and monitor high-risk communities and vulnerable populations.